Loin d'abord. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is the Beeman pistol. Now this is a pump action pistol, really nicely designed. Um, for myself, comes in at a great price and I really like it. Now when I first seen the gun, I was a little leery. I didn't know if I wanted to purchase it or not. Once I got it home and opened it up and tried it out, I fell in love with it. It's actually a really great gun. Uh, nicely designed uh, the only things that I would change on it and if Beeman if anybody from there is ever listening I would make it a little bit stronger pop up the power maybe about to seven eight hundred maybe even nine hundred if you could extend the gun a little bit out a little bit farther to do that by putting a little bit bigger piston in there and um, replace the barrel with a instead of the 177 caliber Go ahead and put a, a 22 caliber in there, and this would be an awesome little pistol. Um, with the 177 cal, it's not bad. It's very fun to shoot, and I've been shooting these Crossman uh, pallets. Well, I'll let you see those. They're actually really neat. They um, they can pierce through a steel can at uh, well decent range, but not too far. Um, with that, as a backyard plinker, it's a really great gun. Not too loud, very quiet, easy to operate and easy to use. Now, first off, the gun itself is pretty stable and uh, not a really heavy, but it's about it's about the same weight as my Glock 9mm, uh, my Glock 19, unloaded, and it feels about the same as that in hand. Now, you have this sort of rigid plastic metal construction. Um, the grip is really nice, sort of similar to a Walter P22 in hand, and it, ergonomics on it are great. The trigger is decent, no problems, no issues. The safety is, is great, I mean it works and operates really well. The only problem with the safety is I wish you guys would have put it on the opposite side because to engage it or to take off the safety I gotta use my opposite hand and go ahead and swipe it with that instead of being able to uh, use my thumb it's too far of reach my index would have been great on this side I would have been able to engage it and do it and then fire the pistol from there so you do have this little piece that looks like a slide release but that's fake there's nothing there uh, it's just molded into the plastic the uh, hammer on the gun is actually a latch go ahead and pull it back to cock the hammer and you release the latch and actually are able to pump the weapon now the weapon itself has a big piston in here um, works out really good you got to pull it all the way down to uh, to lock it out and to load it you go ahead and the barrels right there you just manually drop the pallet right into the barrel easy to do and then you go ahead and cock it back pressing it on itself and then locking it into position and it's ready to fire now, the gun itself works really nice. The, uh, the accuracy, I mean, it's about as accurate as the shooter. The sights are really nice. They're very visible. You have the uh, illumination of the green and the, the red front post. And it's easy to see, pick up, even in low light. It really works well. Now, it does have a small rail here. You can put a small scope on here. So you can actually use that and put the rail and use a scope on it if you wanted to. The uh, magazine release is not there. There's no magazine in it at all. The addition of a uh, maybe a, a rail here on the bottom front end would be really nice to put a light or something. So if you want to do some pest control at night, it would be really cool. But um, there's no problems or issues with the gun itself. I mean, it's really nice, very well in hand. The um, the blowback on it you don't even feel I mean it doesn't jump pop or anything it's just really nice little pop of sound it's not that loud really a great gun if you have neighbors and stuff so it's not going to be really loud uh, or very noticeable shooting in the backyard overall a great gun and I like it a lot 
So that is a look at the beam. Questions, feel free to ask. If you can, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you also could share my videos on some social media, I would love that too. Uh, any other, you know, ways help out. And I appreciate all my subscribers. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. Stay tuned for some more videos to come, and I'll definitely be talking to you soon.